So we're going to start right now and we're going to um, have a panel. And I'm going to call our panel members up one by one and we're going to go through their elevator pitch. Each one is going to um, speak on a different topic and they're going to do their best to stay at two minutes. Is Andy Jonti in the room? Oh, Andy, two minutes, two. Okay, so first person that I would like to invite to the front of the room is Mr. Brandon Brown. We got Brandon? No, Brandon. That's so funny. Uh, I might have to skip Brandon and go to the next person. All right, well, if anybody knows Brandon's number, text him and let him know he's not here and it's his turn. Um, I'm going to move right to, there he is. Oh, there he is. Look at this guy. So Brandon is going to share his new customer approach. Brandon has a very simple and effective intro. He's able to capture the customer's attention quickly while still delivering high value. So what we're going to do is have Brandon do his two-minute pitch, his elevator pitch, if you will. He'll take a seat. We're going to call the next panel member up. They're going to do their pitch, and at the end, we'll do some Q&A. So that's how we're going to do it. Cool? You can kick us off. All right. <clears throat> so customer walks up, new customer, and they've never heard of Cutco. First thing I'll say is, oh, you've got to try this out. I grab a junk knife, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the role play and not explain myself. Um, so here, this is just a regular knife. You buy it at Target or Walmart, try this out. This is a piece of leather. Hopefully your meat doesn't turn out like this. All right, go ahead and saw back and forth. Rip and tear, rip and tear. So that's what happens most of the time with serrated knives. Now, here, here's a steak knife, Cutco steak knife. Put it in their hand. How does that feel? Feels really good, right? Comfortable, well-balanced. All the knives you see here are US made. Company's been around for over 70 years. All right, same thing, start at the tip and just cut through the leather and see if you can do it in one stroke. Pretty impressive. What's more impressive is that it'll, it'll actually stay that sharp seven to 10 years. And when you need the knives sharpened, you can actually send them back to Cutco and they sharpen them for free. Pretty awesome. Now, obviously, with that kind of quality, that kind of warranty, they're not going to be cheap. The average knife is about 100 to 200 bucks a piece. So, average is about 150. So, you can imagine what this knife set would cost. Now, as great as our knives are, we also make really high quality flatware and cookware. And so Cutco is actually known to be more of a kitchen company. And so a lot of customers who just bought a new house, just remodeled, or they're just tired of their cheap stuff that's you know, made in China, we have package deals where you can get rid of everything and replace it just with Cutco. So for you, would you be more interested in just the knife set, or would you want to take a look at our package deals? Mic drop with five seconds left. I almost want to buy Cutco. I don't need to, but I want to if you're selling it. Okay. So we're going to move on to Mr. Robert Wicks, who is going to do a customer owner approach. Um, something that Robert is really great at is building quick and fun rapport. Loves selling ultimate upgrades and selling cookware to past customers. It's his thing. So we're going to invite Mr. Robert Wicks up. Robert. Robert? Who the heck is Robert, dude? Yeah, I don't know. Who the hell is Robert? Hi guys, I'm Bert. Loretta, could you be my could you be a Cutco owner for me? I'd love to. Okay. So I just want you to go with me that you've had your Cutco for 40 years. Okay, which is how everybody runs into Cutco owners. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wonderful. Oh my gosh, do you have some of these? Yes. Oh my gosh, how long have you had them? About 40 years. Oh my god, did you buy them when you were seven? Oh my God, that's amazing. Have you guys ever had your knife sharpened for free? No. Oh my gosh, you haven't. Okay, so do you remember about the guarantee at all? I heard something about it, but I never used it. Yeah, so they're all guaranteed forever. If they break, chip, crack, rust. If you ever need them sharpened, we do that for free. 
Um, what's your favorite thing about Coco? Everything. Everything, like your favorite thing. My favorite thing is cutting tomatoes. It's because it's like butter every single yeah. time, isn't yeah. it? It's amazing. Yeah. Have you had the chance to see any of our new products recently or packages? No, but they're nice and shiny. <laughs> they sure are. The cool thing is when you send them in, they'll polish them up. I want to check out my great aunt's knife. I have old Cutco, by the way. If you don't have old Cutco, I have old Cutco. Show them how amazing it looks when they send it back into the factory. Cool. Well, if you have a second, I can kind of show you some of our new packages and programs. I would love to. Cool. So just to kind of give you a quick update on kind of what's different with Cutco since the last time you saw us. When's the last time you saw Cutco? Uh, it's been a few years. It's been a few years. Cool. So nothing's changed with your guarantee. Everything's the same there, which is cool. However, there's a couple new packages and programs that we've got going on at the event today. So our first program is called our a complete upgrade approach. So we call it complete upgrade approach. We're talking about ultimate upgrade approaches, guys. It's called our complete upgrade program. Um, the cool thing is you get all the tools that you don't have from your basic set that you've had now for 40 years. So it's all of our new tools that customers have requested that we make over the last five to 10 years. Um, we also have our new kitchen program, which actually allows you to get some of our best packages at Cutco sells that most people don't know about, which is our forever cookware and our forever flatware and then our forever accessory packages as well. Do you have kids? I do. Cool, so we also have a new family program as well. It's something that you can give the gift to Cutco. Imagine 40 years ago, if somebody would have gifted you Cutco. Would have been nice. Would have been so cool, right? Super. So we have a program now where you actually get extra special pricing here at the event. And then the last event, last package we have here is our business gift program, which is for people that own businesses or give gifts to clients or employees. So of those packages, what's the thing that kind of rings true to you of what you feel like would be next? Um, I think the business gift, maybe. Okay, cool. Is there a Pierre Andre in the room? Also known as Andy Jaunty. Um, he is going to talk about business gifts. Sorry. He's going to talk about business gifts. Um, I know that that is a very important layer in Andy's business. He sold over 121K in 2022. 79K of that was reorders. Um, and 151 in 2022, 79K of that was also reorders. And his biggest day was 30K, and that was for four biz orders. So, Mr. Gianti. Thank you. No, 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 you stay here. <laughs> I love it, I'm like a guinea pig, this is awesome, go ahead. Okay, so I do wanna preface one thing, and I think we don't talk enough about this, pitches are very important, but using your words and making it your own is also very important. So, I am going to share this pitch, but I'm typically not a pitch person. <laughs> I'm being real. I saw a lot of knives though. So, all right. So, Can I be <laughs> Loretta. <laughs> Shut up. Um, okay, so we had a good time, right? This is basically after a close where you're trying to get into the conversation. We had a good time. Oh my God. Hey, we had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Loretta, tell me, um, do you run your own business or know somebody that runs their own business and give gifts to clients or employees? Yes, my husband. Oh, great. Nice. So do you mind if I tell you a little bit about what we do with Cutco? Sure. Of course. So, so just so you know, most businesses give gifts to clients or employees, right? Mm -hmm. Generally, it's a bottle of wine, a gift card, mm -hmm. or a gift basket. They love these things. They're free. They're a gift. But the thing about it, like, they're consumable. So very quickly they're gone and it doesn't last, there's no, there's no impact, mm -hmm. right? So what we do with Cutco is, and that's a gift set. <laughs> um, yeah. So what we do with Cutco is that we take the product which you're familiar with and you know the quality mm -hmm. and we personalize the name of your client or your employees right on the knife or you can engrave the logo or their website or their phone number right there. And so what that does, like, it stay, you stay top of mind because they use it all the time and they keep getting reminded of you. Now, as you know, most people do not have a very good knife at home. Mm -hmm. So the one or two that you give them become their favorites. And again, they get reminded of you. All the time. Yes. Love it. Um, or if they do have very good gifts, they appreciate it even more. If they have very good knives, they appreciate it even more. It's kind of like giving people that love chocolate premium chocolate, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And of course, it also creates referrals for you because they hang out with their family, their friends in the kitchen. They're like, and who's then, this Andy guy? Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, he's my knife guy. Right. Yeah. And then it sparks conversations about you. There you go. And then if 
depending on how you engrave it, it's actually 100% tax deductible also. Wow. Yeah, people love Good that. Good to know. Yes, yeah. as advertising. Um, and then the last thing that my customers really love is the, gift, the Build a Set program. Mm -hmm. So and we make it super easy where you can build a collection for your clients, employees, or influencers, anybody that you want to give it to. And as you go through occasions, whether it's the holidays or just because, you just can give it to them. It makes it very systematic and easy. Awesome. By the way, what industry are you in? The male modeling industry. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. It was the first thing that came to my mind, Zoolander, I don't know. I love you. I love you. Okay, that doesn't happen though. Well, if you're Andy, maybe it does, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Josh Moeller is gonna be our next panelist, and he is talking about upserving. And, uh, or upserving, upselling, upserving, upselling, is a skill that Josh has worked on intentionally for the last 14 years. Upselling has helped him significantly increase his average order and pre-sell a lot of Cutco for the future um, orders for, and orders from past customers. So can we please welcome Mr. Josh Muller. Thanks, Loretta. What'd you buy from me today, Loretta? Yeah, what'd you buy from me? What'd I buy from you? Just tell me something quickly. Uh, I bought um, a trimmer. Set? Trimmer? A <laughs> hundred trimmers? <laughs> okay. Engraved 200 trimmers? So. All right. So you bought an ultimate from me. I today. bought an ult yeah, I bought cool. a, I bought right, an ult great. and a flatty. Why don't I just throw that in That's there awesome. too? Not yet. So I have zero time left. <laughs> All right, um, Josh, it's been great. All right, cool, <laughs> thanks. All right, here we go. So uh, Loretta, congratulations. Welcome to the Cuckoo family. Hey. Um, just so you know, I'm going to stay in touch with you in the future. Uh, I'll be your personal cutco guy, so I'll send you an email once in a while. I'll let you know a couple times a year when I do sales. If I'm ever in your area for service, I'll let you know that too. Um, but just so you know, it's very common that like people get their new knife set and they fall in love with it. And then they come back to the show next year and they're like, oh my gosh, this stuff's amazing. Can you show me what else you have? So just really quick before you go today, I want to take a quick minute just to show you what else we have in our product line. Um, that I touched on earlier, but a little bit more detail. That way you can tell me what should be on your wish list. Does that sound okay? Perfect. All right, perfect. So just so you know, this I'm gonna send home with you. This is your inventory sheet, and I went through and I checked off everything that you have in your new knife set that's coming, okay? Now we also have a set called our fan set. So if you need more paring knives, more chopping knives, more slicing knives, that's there. And uh, we can always upgrade that for you to our full complete knife collection. On the back side here too, we also have our accessory package. I'm just curious, Loretta, do you happen to have that drawer at home that has like, you know, the catch-all drawer with like spoons and spatulas? Yes. The random junk drawer of silverware and how, yeah. How many? I have two of those drawers. Oh, nice. You're actually better than most people. Most people have like three or four. Oh. So that's awesome. So what we, we call this the take back your drawer package. Okay. So it allows you to clear all that out. Just have one good drawer dedicated to one good set of accessories and serving tools. Then we also have our outdoor package. Um, if you know anybody that does any hunting or, hunting or fishing or you do any camping or if you garden, barbecue, all that sort of stuff, that's all there as well. Um, what's your pots and pans situation like at home? You know, I get the ones that don't stick and I have to replace them every once in a while, but it's not a big deal. Cool, well if you ever wanna upgrade that and just have one good set for the rest of your life, that's what Cutco Cookware is all about. And then we also have the flatware. We're one of the last companies that makes high quality flatware here in the US and uh, it's one of those lifetime investments mm -hmm. and a true heirloom type product. So I'm just curious if you were to rate these, one, two, three, and four, which do you think you'd do first, second, and third, and fourth over the next five or 10 years in your kitchen? I think, um, number one, I'm going for the uh, flatware chest. I really want a flatware chest, just put it out there. Um, I would also go with the accessories. I think I would finish up with uh, some cookware, and then I'll throw the barbecue set in for my husband. Cool, Last. Well, just for fun, before you go, since the flatware's next, would you mind if I took a quick minute just to tell you a little bit about it while you're here so you know what you're thinking about. Sure, yeah. Cool. So it's all soft closing, which then we're going to get her interest and get her bought in, and then we're going to go hard into the upserve to see if we can get it today. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to welcome to the stage Miss T and Honey, Chelsea. Um, Chelsea's going to talk about flatware. Chelsea sold a flatware chest on average every three days last year. 
So there's not much else to say other than that's 134 flatties in 2022, and she's gonna show us how it's done. I switched to vodka. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> okay, Loretta, I'm gonna ask you a question, and because you're gonna be an easy customer, I'm just gonna tell you what to say. Okay, because this is what most customers say anyway. Okay. All right, so we finished selling you your ultimate upgrade, and I'm going to ask you a question. When I ask you this question, you're going to say, oh, my God, I didn't know Cutco made flatware. And you're going to flip your foot. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a very serious question, and this question everybody should ask. Okay. You got your line? Yeah. You know your line? Yeah. I know mine. Oh, my God, I can't okay. believe Okay. Um, so, Loretta, when are you going to get your flatware? Oh my God, I didn't know that Cutco made flatware. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. Oh my God. That's great. I love it. That was just for theatrical effect. There was no point to the foot flip. Um, so, wow, yeah, actually Cutco does have flatware. Can I tell you about it just really fast before you go? Sure. Um, it's actually just three quick things. Don't worry, we're not gonna talk about flatware as long as we talked about the knives. But do you see in my book here how in this entire Ultimate set that's 4200 there's like a seven, dollars $800 disparity in price. The discount you get on the package is about $700 off. Yes. Do you see that yes. in my book here? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the flatware is the best kept hidden secret of Cutco because it is the steepest discount that Cutco has on any of our packages and programs. Wow. Would that interest you at all? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to tell you three things about it. One, if you'll pick it up and hold it and just take a look at it, see how shiny that is? Mm -hmm. It's like a new car. Ooh, look at it. It looks like brand new. Yeah, it's 1810 stainless. So you know how grandma's flatware was like made of silver? Yes. Silver's nice. It's durable. It's high quality, but silver's also high maintenance. Mm. Nobody wants high maintenance. Not in today's society. You need quick and easy, yes. right? So what's nice about 1810 stainless is it's super durable, super light. It's not too heavy, not too light, but you can put it in the dishwasher. And 20 years from now, it'll still be that shiny. Wow. Can you imagine your flat, flatware looking that good 20 years from now? No. So that's why you should have 1810 stainless. Number two, it's inevitable. And I'll go and tell you straight up, this flatware chest, it's $2,800 worth of stuff. It's 2,800, mm. okay? Mm. I don't wanna wait to the end like we did with the upgrade yeah. and go over pricing. So it's 2,800, but customers tell me all the time, why would I spend that kind of money on flatware? I have teenage boys at home, they're just gonna lose it. Mm -hmm. Well, Loretta, that's actually the reason you should buy it because it is inevitable. No matter what flatware you buy, you're gonna lose a piece or two. And Cutco's design never changes. Now, most flatware companies change their design. Mm -hmm. So you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, Belk, wherever, mm -hmm. Walmart, get the fine china, mm -hmm. and you try to find your design and you can't find it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think companies change their design all the time? Just going out of style or trying something new? Have you ever bought a new iPhone and they changed the port for your charger? Yeah. They want me to spend more money. Exactly. So flatware companies do that because they know you're going to lose two spoons and three forks. If you get our flatware today, which is forever flatware, you can buy two spoons and three forks. And I never have to worry about. You'll never yeah. have. To, yeah, you'll never have to buy a That's whole. Awesome. You won't have to buy five. Like, you won't have to buy multiple place settings right. ever again. Yes. It's I inevitable. Like you're yeah. going to lose them. So you should get Cutco because it'll be cheaper in the long run because you'll just replace two pieces when Johnny, your son, loses it. You're and then number right. three, this is the quick one. It's forever. This is your forever flatware. How long did you say you had had your knives? 40 years. 40 years. That deserves a foot flip. Yeah. Um, you've had it for 40 years. Can you imagine having this flatware for 40 years and then passing it down to your daughter multi-generationally? That would be awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, girlfriend. OK. Vodka. Yep. Vodka. All right, so please help me welcome our next panel member. And this is uh, Kelly Kinzer's husband, Seth. Um, so Seth, uh, if you wanna make your way to the stage, I've been waiting for like weeks to do that, so just deal with it. Okay, so Seth's gonna talk about cookware. Um, he is number two in cookware rep for 2022, selling over 86K. He has sold over 500K in cookware over his career, and he is consistently growing year after year in this area of his business. So please welcome, sorry, Seth Kinzer. I am just Kelly's husband. But 
some of you have not been to a net meeting before, so you don't know this about me. I am known for my high kicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gets the people going. All right. Loretta, did you know about our most important thing that we sell? So most people know Cutco as a, as a knife company. We're actually a kitchen company because we actually make beautiful high-end flatware. But we also make cookware. And while the knives are great, they make your life easier. They're sharp and they stay sharp. You obviously have had them for 20 years. They're amazing. The cookware is the best thing we sell because, the best and most important thing we sell because it actually improves the quality of your cooking. Imagine having a pan that's stainless steel but works like nonstick, just without any of the toxic chemical coatings that inevitably scrape off into your food. So the thing that people love about our cookware is that it basically works like nonstick pans without the toxic coatings. And the reason it does that is because of the thickness of it. So are you familiar with cast iron? How it's really thick, so it cooks super well, right? But the, the negative drawback of cast iron, of course, is that it's really thick, so it breaks your wrist. So ours is thick without breaking your wrist, and it's because it's aluminum in the core. The aluminum gives you even heat distribution all the way around. So the reason that food sticks to stainless steel traditionally is one, most companies don't use this quality of stainless, and two, they don't have the thick core that we have that allows even heat distribution, so you don't get hot spots. The food is sticking to the hot spots in the pan. So as long as you just preheat our pans and you cook at medium to low, medium below, you're good to go. You will never have anything sticking to it. And if you're doing something like eggs, all you're gonna do, then I pull out my phone, I show them, all you're gonna do is preheat the pan, medium temperature, put a little bit of olive oil or butter in there, whatever you like. I use butter for the flavor, right? And look at this, this the omelet literally slides right out of my pan, right? You're gonna love this stuff. Again, the knives are great, but the cookware actually allows for a total lifestyle change. It's gonna make your food healthier, tastier, and it's gonna cook your stuff in about two to three times, uh, or about half the time. It's gonna cook two to three times faster. You're going to love this stuff. Thank you. I wish he came with the cookware and he could cook for me. That would be awesome. All right, so let's see. So we have Curdy, 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 Curtis J. Koo. Uh, he's coming. So family program. If you guys know Curtis, then you've already heard about the family program because he told you about it. And he's going to tell you some more about it right now as he comes to the stage. So please welcome Mr. Curtis J. Hughes. And you have 30 <laughs> seconds left. Go. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do new customer family program. Okay. So you just bought your set of knives, yeah. and then we're going to go from there. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Nice. Congrats. You're going to love your new Cutco. I can't wait for you to get it. Me too. So really quick question for you. Uh, is this set that you're buying now, is this mostly for your primary home? Is this for your secondary home? Is this for your RV, your camper? Um, what are you primarily buying this set for? Um, primary. Your primary? Nice. Now, a uh, quick question for you. Since this is your primary home, have you ever thought about putting uh, knives in your secondary or giving it to your kids or have thought about giving it to someone else? I thought about it, but I just never went any further than that, you know, okay. thoughts. Well, just so you know, since you're buying for the first time here at the show, you're actually a perfect candidate for one of our new programs that we have. It's actually our friends and family program. And what we do is we actually get rid of all of the terrible knives that you have in all the other places, whether that's your RV, your camp, or your second home. And you know, if you go to your mom's house and she has those terrible knives that you're like, oh, we can't carve a turkey at all at that house, this is your perfect opportunity to buy it because not only is it gonna give you a bigger discount on the set that you just bought, but when you buy more and buy it in bulk, we can give you an even bigger discount here at the show. That's amazing. Yeah, would you like to take a look at our family program so I can show you a little bit more about it? Yes. Perfect. Good job. I feel like they're competing with each other to see who can do it the quickest, it's pretty funny. All right, so here we go. Um, our last panel member is going to be Mr. Mike Dowin. Mike is going to talk about the famous send-off. Um, a big focus for Mike in his business is making people feel great. Um, he also loves making sure his customers remember him and they follow him for years to come. So, Cucko Mike, let's talk about it. All right, so ask me um, how long the shipping will take. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's uh, wrap this order up. You know, like that signature with table knives, because I'm not as good as these reps up here. Um, 
So what color did you want, the pearl or the classic, or do you want to do that special edition red? I'm going classic. Nice. And then did you want to do the honey or the cherry? Honey. And then uh, can I grab your uh, debit or credit card, please? Sure. Nice. And then uh, Loretta, and actually, Curtis, you're the spouse. Come up here real quick. Oh, Curtis. We're going to have to get our Kodak moment photo. you got to be together, you know? Um, and then your name, sir? Curtis. Curtis, nice. And then um, your address? Um, what do you want it to be? <laughs> it's 322 Houghton Avenue. Oh. And it's, it's asking for the gate code to get into your mansion? Uh-huh. 14760. Awesome. And then your email for tracking and confirmation? Coco Bike. Nice. .com. And then, hey, just so you know, it's going to email you the confirmation when we process it right now and then when it ships. Just never unsubscribe. I do a lot of emails. So we promote <laughs> about a half a million emails. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to unsubscribe because you get notified of updates, emails, giveaways, all the fun stuff, okay? Um, so real quick, you guys, you have uh, new family members. This is my family here. So you got four new Cutco grandchildren Aww. and uh, Lincoln, Duke, Huck, and McCartney. So every time you see a deal or an update, know you're supporting them as well, okay? I love kids. And then uh, we also got to do a Kodak moment. So do you guys know what a Kodak moment is? Where I we take, know. Where we take a picture. It's a big moment in your Cutco kitchen oh, history. Can... So do you guys mind taking Ready? a picture real quick? Let's do it. Like... All right, you hold... No, you got to hold up the no, beast. Hold... Yeah, you got to hold up the beast. Why can't I hold so it So you got to hold up the sticky with the table yeah, knives. Oh. Take a picture real quick. Cool. Hey, do you guys, do you guys have Facebook? Oh, we sure do. Awesome. Hey, grab your phone out real quick. Okay. So the reason I do this is because when I'm doing my next events, deals, giveaways, you want to be in the know because there's only one thing better than cut go, free cut go. Hey. All right. And then ask me how long it'll ship. How long does it take for the shipping? So normally we use like an Amish horseback and buggy service. You get it by Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I like you guys a lot. So about two to three weeks. Does that sound okay? I love it. Okay. Were you able to do that? So like. I love, cool. the, I love the Amish too. Okay. All right, so uh, one last thing. I had two choices growing up. One is to be a professional baseball player or a professional knife salesman. So I chose the latter, the one that pays better, a knife salesman. So I do have a, uh, a card for you, okay, if I can get it. Is it autographed? Well, don't jump the gun now. <laughs> you got to pay, you got to buy more for that. All right, so every year I make a Topps autographed baseball card. So if you keep this for 10 years, and yes, I'll be selling Cutco in 10 years, or my kids will be selling it. You can bring it in and redeem it for a free Cutco knife. So you want to put this in your safe with all your gold and silver? Yes. Definitely don't want to lose that. And then here's my normal business card. Put that under your block so when you need sharpening or you need deals, uh, let me know. And then here's my referral card because there's three ways I grow my business. Through referrals, uh, relationships, or orders. So when your family or friends say, man, you got the big knife set from Cutco, You're doing, you made it, mm -hmm. you say, hey, I got a guy. He's my most expensive friend. His name's Cutco Mike, okay? Yes. So uh, before I let you go, here's one other thing. It's a little secret sample knife, because when you leave here, you're going to go, what the heck did we just do? We just spent two grand on knives. It's okay. Everybody feels that way, okay? But when you get home, just know you bought American Made, guaranteed forever. You got a guy that'll take care of you for life. You got four new grandkids, Cutco kids. Um, and then use that little s secret knife, because then you'll go, wow, this stuff's sharp. Cool? Yes. All right. Thank awesome. you. Welcome to the Cutco family. Thank you. You're so funny. You can, you can keep the oh, I love you, Okay, so I think we have a few mic runners. Um, Kara, I'm not sure how much time we have to do some Q&A right now, but if you can put that up on the screen, that will um, that'll help us. So do we have any questions for this amazing panel behind me? Not a question? Oh, okay, good. We have one right over here. So, well, I'll just come to you. I'll run the mic to you. <laughs> okay. I have a question for the send-off. What happens if you have maybe another customer coming up to you while that's happening and they're, like, trying to ask you questions? Do you know how to, like, kind of maybe still give them a little bit of attention, but also you don't want to just end off your... So like juggling a crowd or multiple people. I think right. the best thing is you can't chase two rabbits and catch them both. So focus on cash on hand, right? <laughs> and then just acknowledge, hey, hey, look, they're part of the Cutco family. How, tell them how long you've been doing business with me, if they're a customer of yours. 
aren't they going to love it? So just kind of like make it more of a family thing. So acknowledge them. Say, hey, I'll be with you in five minutes. Keep your credit card warm. You know, uh, I'm worth the wait. Or if you, if you can tell they're getting really frustrated because it's a longer demo, hey, I'll give you an extra bonus gift for waiting. So just, just acknowledge them, but focus on the cash at hand and send them off feeling good because, you know, that's who you just spent the most time with. And sometimes you get so excited about this and then they're like, hey, how do I get my broken paring knife fixed, right? So just, just yeah, that's, is that helpful? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, when it comes to the flatware, this is for Chelsea. Um, for the flatware, if they like look online and they see the price of the, uh, I guess the chest itself, and they say where's the discount, how do you explain it? Um, so that's why I pre-frame at the very beginning. I say, hey, just up front. I usually say that before the three things. I say it's $2,800 worth of stuff. I'm just going to go and get to the price right away versus putting, th putting you through the demo first. Then when I get to the end after I go over the three things, they always say, so what's the deal here? So then I tell them the deal here. It's the same as online, but then I usually close it with a free gadget. Or if I knew that they were eyeing a knife, that was in the package, we already sold them or didn't sell them, I'll close it with one free item and that way by far beats online. And I love saying, hey, by the way, you could wait and buy this for the same package discount online, but the reality is, Miss Jones, that would defeat the purpose of me standing here all day and trying to sell it to you. You know, do you like supporting small businesses? That's me. If you buy with me, I can do a five pay and I'll sweeten the deal just a little bit. How does that sound? Would to volunteer to do your role play again? Anybody, put your hand up. Andy, thank you for volunteering. God, you're such a great guy. I want you to do that pitch again. And Loretta, I want you to tell him no. And I want you to handle it. No to which part? No, seriously. No problem, no to which part? Oh, that they don't run a business? <laughs> well, if they don't... <laughs> if they don't run a business, there's not really... You can, I definitely follow up with, like, hey, do you, do you work for somebody that does give gifts, right? And that was kind of part of my question in the beginning anyway. So, like, that opens up that opportunity. And if they said, no, they don't have anybody, I mean, I'm, I got to go to the next person. So, I'm glad you asked that question, but... Really, you need the interest. We've learned over the years that there's plenty of people to talk to. You can't just, you know, if they don't run a business or they don't work for somebody that give gifts, um, or like it's it's a dead end. I mean, the the other thing to remember too is this is a two minute pitch, right? So that the purpose and intention behind it is to capture your customer's attention to see if they're interested. If they're not, then you pivot and move on to something else. So that's what I would add. Yeah. We got some more? Oh, here you go. Sorry about that. For when you're at a booth, when's a good time to share your personal goals with your customer? Like, should you share it when you're in that in the beginning of the pitch, or do you share it kind of towards the middle or closing? I'll do this um, one. That's but yeah. a great question. It's a really good question. I don't even know if you wanted to ask a certain person, but I'm going to take the reins on this one. Um, so, yeah, let's go. All right. Okay, so yeah, so um, I would say, so this is the reason why I stepped up so fast is to be totally frank with all of you guys. I've shared goals about like the show and the event, which creates urgency. But I've been sharing my annual goal with every single customer every single time this year so far. And it's unbelievable how impactful it is. And I think there's different times that are great to use it. However, most people, when you say, what do you think, right, about that order, what do most people say? Cool, I'm going to think about it, right? And then you just do the thing where you handle the objections and you write it down. So in my opinion, a great time to share your goal is usually when you're trying to close the deal. 
right? So usually I'll position it along the lines of, hey, just so you know, Mr. Jones, I'll handle all the objections, go through everything, right? Make sure we're on the right package, all that jazz. And I'll be like, hey, so since you're here now, and it sounds like if you wanted it, you could budget for it. it sounds like if you had it, you'd use it. It sounds like you're gonna love it forever. So before you leave, my goal this year is to sell a million dollars with a Cutco and a calendar year. Craziest, scariest goal I've ever had in my entire life. So since you're here now, if I was able to do something just a little extra special for you, right, to help you just say yes to your forever set of knives, would you maybe go for it? Yeah. That's how I position it. Seth, this one's for you. Um, so obviously it was a quick elevator pitch, two minute pitch on the cookware, but how do you create interest in the bigger sets of the cookware and how do you just explain each set itself and get them to go up to like the complete and the legacy sets? So first things first is having legacy pieces is huge. Handing them the legacy piece is something I learned from Josh Muller, but it's like again, why do people want an ultimate set? If anyone's listening to my ultimate talk, it's like I, I, I talk about the fact, don't talk about pieces that come in a homemaker set. So don't talk about pieces that come in a dedicated or an aspiring set, doesn't matter. They all come in the legacy cookware set. So it's like getting them really sold on, spending time on how amazing the tin cord is, how amazing the wok is. If you don't know how amazing they are, buy them from yourself and use them at your house. Right? Get stories around it because the more you can create emotion behind wanting those pieces, like if my customers go like, well, all the best pieces only come in the ultimate set. I'm like, yeah, that's because those are the only pieces I sold to you, right? So it's our job to sell them on what, why it makes sense. And then the quick, uh, the quick elevator pitch on it is like your, your set, which is always their set, is the complete legacy set, right? So your set of cookware comes with three of everything. It comes with three fry pans, comes with three saucepans, comes with three utility pans, small, medium, and large. Then you just had three, three, three fry pans, small, medium, and large, three saucepans, small, medium, and large, three utility pan, small, medium, and large. By the way, the large utility pan is the Dutch oven, right? And you get three accessory pieces, which is the high dome top, the double boiler, and the uh, steamer unit, right? And then you get our three family pieces. These are the ones that are gonna be your workhorses, especially like in the fall when you're doing your big soups and chilies, right? Anytime, like, it's crazy. Like, it's just my wife and I most of the time, and it's, it's, it's crazy how often we, we, we will break these pieces out. By the way, do you guys ever do breakfast in the morning, like breakfast meals, right? This griddle is gonna be your best friend, right? So again, selling them on the legacy pieces and one of the big things is having them there. Handing them to them, like feel the weight of it, right? You can feel the quality. You're gonna love that, that, that pan. Thank you. Curtis, um, this question is for you. I'm right here. Hi. <laughs> um, so, because you're known for being very direct and playful with your customers, I'm curious when people say Psh, they can buy it themselves. Shouldn't what? When your customers say about the family program, Psh, they can buy it themselves. I'm yeah. curious how you. And then I look at them and I'm like, so you want that person to die? or you want to die before your parent, or you get what I'm saying? So, Whoa. dang, dude. Sorry, that came out wrong. So if well, the customer like, like, says they can buy it themselves, the customer goes, they can buy it themselves. And I'm all like, that's pretty morbid, don't you think? And then they go, what do you mean? And I'm like, so you basically want to die for your kids to have good knives? And they're like, uh, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound good, does it? And then, but that's because I'm direct and I have fun with my customers. But no, normally I'll, I'll say it like that and then the customers will go, yeah, I didn't think about that. And I was all like, no, I get it. I, I totally understand Cutco's not cheap. It's something that's expensive. But you gotta remember that this is something that they're looking forward to as they get older. And you know that they shouldn't have to wait that long to get Cutco because the younger they have it, the more they're going to enjoy it. And this is something that's an heirloom that they're gonna enjoy for years to come. And they're gonna remember that you gave them that gift years and years ago. And that's the one gift that they're gonna talk about continuously. It's kind of like, what did your husband give you last year for Christmas? Do you know? No. Um, 
Yeah, see, exactly. But you remember exactly when you bought your Cutco, you told me it was 17 years ago, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. So it's the same thing when you're giving the gift to your kids. That's the exact effect that's going to happen with them. But they're going to appreciate it more because it came from their parents rather than them having to go out and buy it themselves. Cool. Thank you. The rat? The rat on? Yeah. I'm being told that Bert has an incredible response to this, so I'm not sure if I can put him on the spot. I heard you have a great response to this about about 30 year olds. Say that again? A uh, great response to the same question about 30 year olds. Oh, yeah, 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 the family program, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous at all for my talk coming up, guys, not at all. Um, yeah, so basically like if a person says like, oh, they can just buy for themselves. And I'm like, well, here's the deal, guys. Mrs. Jones, just to be forward with you, I'm 30, right? I have a bunch of buddies that know I sell super high quality kitchen knives. And guess how many have bought them from me? Zero. Because they don't understand the value of having good kitchen knives. They just don't even understand why they're important, right? So they just don't think that they even need it, right? So the reason why it's so great is that even though they don't necessarily think that they need it, <clears throat> once they receive it, they love it. Because it's so much better than their crappy set of knives that they got at their wedding, or the crappy set of knives that they've had since they're, they graduated college, right? So everybody appreciates it, even though they don't, everybody thinks, oh, they won't appreciate it. Do they eat? They'll appreciate it, right? Because their knives right now probably suck, right? So the, when you give the gift to Cutco, it's appreciated, it's used, and guess who they think about every single time they use the knives? You. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to ask Bert to stay up here, but I would like to take a second and just give everybody a round of applause up here. Mrs. Thank you Mrs. very much. Jones!